should probably turn the microphone on, shouldn't I? Hello! That was a quick stream, yeah, that's it. Is everyone happy? Have you seen what you want to see? Excellent. In that case, can... <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, can you hear the game? Can you see me? Um, so on and so forth. The usual checks. <sighs> you want to see more? You want to see more? Everyone say yes if you want to see more. Actually, say M3 if you want to see more. No, there's a few people who want to see some more. M3, yeah, World of None nails it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Right, okay, let's have a look at the M3. The M3 running in Long Island. <clears throat> Oldie worldy train. That's a technical term for it. Just going to run a scenario and we'll get into the train and we'll um, we'll take a look at it. Oh, the spam. Yeah, you can. we can stop the spam now. I got the message. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh dear. Daddy Beast, welcome. Bad guy, I am doing very good, thank you. Right, should we have a look? This is the M3. We'll have a proper look when we get into service mode because we can walk around it and stuff. Let's just do a, a scenario first. Uh, with the Long Island City Ferry Terminal closed, Long Island. Okay, I should have probably started reading that before. Uh, first shuttle service has already begun. The boarding, head over and prepare it for it. Prepare it for departure. Words. I'm not doing words today very well. Everyone wanted to make sure that the numbers were right. Can I just be sure that the numbers are right? Okay. I want to be really clear with everybody that numbers are right. Right, okay. Dum ba dum, let us wander down. Put that on. Let's go inside here, have a look around. Ooh, shiny seats. These wings are weird. These shiny seats. Well, like I said, we'll have another look, good look as we go through. Dun -dun -dun. On board train instructions. Always fire medical people. What? No, don't do that. That's the wrong instruction. They're the best. Right. Shut the door. Open the window. Okay. If you're familiar with the M7, the basics of this won't be difficult for you. Let's get the headlights onto bright. And uh, we want to set the marker off or on. Off. Move that down and charge the brakes. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a sort of a, um, a tiny little visage that you get with these things. <clears throat> right, I'm. Uh, I apologies if I'm missing questions. Um, I knew that was something everyone was going to ask about, so. No, forwards. Right, let's lock the doors. Uh, no, we didn't work with Repo on this one, actually, Schnauzer. I wanted to send out a big thank you to Lord Jester, actually, on the chat there, who um, sent us, actually, a lot of reference material for this. Um, just um, walking around the train and um, sending us some um, uh, photographs and videos and things and pointing us to good reference material so yeah big thank you to uh, Lord Jester oh hang on I've forgotten something uh, that one and that one oh I'm in KMH I am always in the wrong speed unit. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, I am in the wrong speed unit. This is a universal truth. So what are you going to notice different about this, other than, you know, it looks seriously different to an M7, which you can see in the background over here. Um, its driving characteristics are really interestingly different. This thing is bumpy as all heck. 
you can't feel it a lot, but with a cab sway, you can feel it sort of like it's like, for example, when you first take off, when you first take off, what is this, a plane? Um, a Cessna M3. Uh, when you first um, start moving, um, the um, um, it's quite sluggish to get started. A bit, it's, it, it mean it's fast enough, but it's, but then what happens is it gets a certain point. It's it suddenly goes whoa. <laughs> you feel it suddenly take off. <laughs> All right, we're going to Hunters Point Avenue, uh, and that happens throughout. Actually, it's quite a bit of a you know as you're accelerating, you're going to feel yourself going backwards and forwards a bit. It's quite jerky, uh, and that's exactly um, as we do. You can't really hear anything in the cab. That was the feedback we had from all of the heater testers. You just can't hear anything in the cab. They said, take all the traction note and noise out. You can't hear it in the cab. All you can hear is fans and stuff. So that's what we've been told. It's even with the windows open. But you can hear the, no the motor noise on the outside. So the speed limit to ATC has dropped to 15, but the speed limit's gone up. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Here we go, we're coming into... Oh, we're not stopping at Hunter's Point, we're just going via Hunter's Point. Where are we actually going? Jay interlocking Jamaica. Hopefully we can speed up. Oh, we can speed up now. Right, let me get outside so we can hear the traction motors where you'll actually hear them. Over thing. We're speeding up again now. Green light. Did I add a red light coming up earlier on? No, can't have it. Uh, where are we going? Jane interlocking. We are going. Oh, we're just going to Jamaica and then stopping. This is quite a short scenario. We'll do service mode after this. There's no bing bongs, if that's what you mean, Fab Diva. Green and yellow. What's going on here then? Nothing of interest. Oh, we've got a 30 coming up. We should probably get ready for that. Get ready for that 30. So the, the M3 slots into service mode um, in all the same places it did before, but it's a, there's a little bit more to it than that. So there's, there are no extra services. I want to make that really clear. I want to be completely upfront. There are no extra services. Everything the M7 did, the M3 can do, and vice versa. Um, there's nothing dedicated for either of the trains so that you can swap them anywhere. And what that means is that it will, um, it will try and do its best to um, do a nice random swap. So when you're doing service mode, you'll have a um, a mix of other trains that you see in other sometimes there'll be M three, sometimes there'll be M seven. So it's a you know a nice variety of services that you'll see. But I forget about that for you.
There's your door controls up here. Work the same as the M7, basically. Yeah, essentially. Um, I mean, um, West Side Yard Schnauzer. Um, yeah, anywhere, everywhere an, M an M7 can spawn, it could now be an M3 as well. Well, instead of. And every time you load the game, there'll be a different random uh, layout. Um, the M3 will substitute um, in the uh, M7 scenarios. It will now, if you rerun the M7 scenarios, you'll find some of them. In fact, I'll run one in a minute. Um, it, you, if you rerun it, you'll find sometimes you see M3s in the M7 scenarios even. Yeah, the normal loco DLC price. <sighs> Got a yellow light coming up. Have you thought of putting TSW on mobile? It's kind of a different experience to get something on mobile. but And not only that, they're a, a heck of a lot less powerful. So the ring ring that you hear is the alerter. And the one that was a solid ring is um, when the signalling changes. Um, No, access isn't simulated. Same as on the M7, it isn't simulated. Thanks, Daddy Beast! Well, normally, Garden Encrypts, the driver wouldn't do the door, lock, the door locks. Normally, there'd be a guard on the train that would handle all of that stuff. But that's not simulated here because there's only one player. There's no passenger information system on this one, no, same as every other train. Access is the. Um, um, oh god. I used to know what Access stood for. <laughs> I can't remember now. Speed Enforcement System is the SES, I've got them, but the AC is. Advanced Civil Speed Enforcement System, there you go. Thank you, Calspec. Are there functional door controls in the coach area? I can't remember, we'll go and have a look. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. No, so what do you mean 468 car, etc? I must have missed the first half of your question. Well, the M3s run with the M7s. No, the M3s and the M7s aren't um, compatible. You, uh, all the photographs we saw, you can't... So that constant ring is the um, ATC. Telling me I'm being a naughty boy. It's a bit shakier than the M7, but I mean, I've never ridden on one, so I couldn't tell you. <clears throat> Where are the roaches, though? We didn't simulate the roaches. We've got to shut off ATC. Yes, you can. Uh, the electric ATC. It's, I've turned them on. So by default they're off, it's just these switches up here that you have to use to turn them on.
speed reduction coming up, so I'm just going to chill the speed now. No, I'm not going live on Twitch later, back then. Start easing the speed down. Am I only running with six cars? Is this a six car train? It's actually only a four car. This is a wee one. Dropping to 35. In terms of price, this is the same price you'd normally pay for a loco DLC, whatever that is in your local region. <clears throat> I think the point is this is a special service. The scenarios, the service modes are 6, 8 and 10 car. multiple highlights you choose like the 377 yeah I'll show you in the service mode when we get there this is just a scenario <clears throat> there's three scenarios in the pack as normal there are no dedicated M3 services a seller every service can be run by the M3 and every service can be run by the M7 all right see you later boy Yes, Jesse. When you drive, when you go into service mode, you pick the train that you want to drive. I'm going to show you that in a minute. <clears throat> in service mode, Kojo, they're six, eight, and ten car. Same as the M7s. Uh, Jay, um, I'm going to have a look. I'm gonna, what I want to do is just show you the start of a M7 scenario, just to demonstrate how the M3 slots into these scenarios on the M7 pack. So it's worth replaying the M7 scenarios because they'll feel different now. So this display, from what I understand, is no longer used. We originally started setting it up, um, and the advice we got was to disable it because this supersedes it essentially. You have to hold down a key for the dead band? No, because that would be very frustrating, Jackson. Press the right button. Did I get a chance to call? Did I get a chance to test the keyboard shortcuts on Xbox? No, I didn't. 
Good job, train terminates here. Shut down the cab and change ends for a turn run. Let's run to the other end. Doop -doop -doop. It's like a marathon of door opening. Do I know the NYCT subway? I know of it. I've never actually been to New York, so I've looked at New York from New Jersey. Airport. That's about as close as I've got, I'm afraid. Should really shut those doors behind you. No, it's fine. They'll automatically close on their own. <clears throat> right. So that's uh first scenario. Let's pop back to the menu. Oh yeah, we're going to be doing some more time in the train with the officer and I'll give you a more look outside. Someone said they wanted to have a look at what other scenarios there are. So that was ferrying folks. Metropolitan Mover, bring a train of M3 units into service. And Hicksville Handler, many M7 units have been taken in for routine maintenance and the Emble M3s have been brought into service to cover. You are to bring an M3 unit into operation and complete the run to Hicksville. So that looks like Atlantic to Hicksville. So those are the um, scenarios. Uh, actually, let's just quickly run. Uh, I'll show you the... Um, the race day run. <clears throat> so this is an M7 scenario. And you'll see that there's an M3 already sitting in the in the train station here. One coming in as well. Let's pop over here. And the player train, of course, is still an M3, an M7, because it's an M7 scenario. But the AI trains will sub out uh, and uh, give you a bit more to look at scenery wise. So I just wanted to show you, if you replay your M7 scenarios, you'll find that they're a bit different because they've got M3s in them now as well as M7s. And it'd be random as well. If you play that again, that train might be an M7. Okay. <clears throat> right, service mode. There is a tutorial, obviously, as always. There's the tutorial here just on how to drive the train. But if you're familiar with the M7, to be honest, it's easy. So, service mode. The first thing you'll notice, if you just come in here and you click a service and you click continue, you'll notice that there's actually quite a short list of services here. And I saw some people getting very um, panicky that all the services have been removed. Because if you click on this, it says there's only 28 services. Same for this, it's only 28 services. It was because this has been reorganised a bit now. Um, because so that now you select 10 car, 6 car or 8 car, whether you, which kind of thing you want to drive. So if I want to drive an 8 car, there are 65 of those. And if I want to drive a 10 car, there are 28 of those. 6 car, there are 88 of those. So you pick the length of formation that you want. Um, and um, you can um, drive whichever one. So let's pick a 10 car formation. And we'll uh, bump that up. And then from here... We've got Ron Conkoma, uh, New York, which are the 10 car services. Um, so let's do a, a New York pen to Ron Conkoma service. <clears throat> so the key thing to remember is that um, in reality, yes, they do run a uh, 12 cars animator, but this timetable only simulates up to 10. Right, let's pop the uh, key in, pull that back. Get the doors open. Finish charging the brakes. So liveries would be catered for in there as well, um, Rionics. If there are other liveries, they would be showing in there as well. That's actually the livery select button.
<clears throat> so at the moment the cast that car selector thing is 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 a new thing that's on this route. It's not been added anywhere else yet. Substitution, uh, scenario substitution is used on other routes. Uh, you'll find on GWE that the 66 is, um, will randomly sub out between the EWS and the Divyshenko one, for example. How is operating the M3 different from the M7? Fundamentally, it's very similar. I mean, they specifically designed the train, the M7, to be familiar. Um, but it's uh, so that you'll feel that the driving characteristics are different. <clears throat> right, let's go. The substitution with the 66 in GWE has been there since the 66 got a second delivery. Years now. The base pack um, with the um, 6, 8, 10 car thing will update for everybody on the Lear. Because it's the timetable itself that's been updated to use that method. Oh, I haven't turned off the ATC stuff, have I? Fool! They're on now. My safety systems now has the teeth. Does that mean there'll be no more stops at the station when the train is too long? It won't change the... The actual change services themselves haven't changed. So if, if a service has a 10-car station stopping at a four-car platform, then it will still do that. Next station is Miniola. No, I just noticed the markers aren't on as well. We'll do this passenger stop. We'll run down the platform and turn them on. <laughs> yeah, sure, modernissimo. The services haven't changed, Jonathan Diaz. They've just been organised a little bit differently, but they haven't actually changed, so wherever they went before, they'll carry on going. I'm playing on PC at the moment, um, Seven Diamond. Is there any more scenarios for the M3? There are three scenarios for the M3.
my capture card's not working at the moment, so I can't do a stream from a console just yet. I'm trying to work with Elgato to fix my capture card. I'll get that working again and I can have a look at doing a stream from it. <laughs> I think release time tomorrow. I'd normally rely on Dimitri for this information, but I believe it's tomorrow, usual time, sort of mid afternoon UK time. Set of a webcam pointing at the console. <laughs> No point eight, it starts slowing down. I I am crazy. ATC's dropped to forty. Roll into Miniola. <clears throat> That's the alerter. see the doors from the outside. Have the notch break or percentage right like the, like the M7? Let's have a look in a minute. I can't remember. Fifteen seconds. to be on the platform. Just in time to get to our 40. Come on, give me a better ATC. <clears throat> Bell at the M3 at night. Someone remind me. We'll have a look at that. Maybe we do the next scenario at night. 
speed up. So yeah, it's P1234, which I think is... What's this notch set here? I think it's, yeah, it's just fixed notches. Uh, there's nothing to announce about the M9. I wouldn't imagine the M9 will come anytime soon, to be honest, that rail, because the they're such brand new trains, getting reference for them is very difficult. Very, very difficult. I'm crazy, when do I stream on my channel? Uh, I'm, I'm not really streaming very much on my own channel at the moment. Keith Moore, am I pleased with how it's turned out? Oh, very much so. I mean, honestly, when we, when we did the um, Long Island, I wanted to do more trains for it, but it's very difficult to get access to these things to do any kind of reference and it's difficult just to even get anywhere near them but fortunately uh, with the help of Norchester and a couple of other people um, we were able to get enough reference to be able to put this one together and um, a lot of support from different people who are experienced with these trains who've um, really helped us pull this one together so and um, based on some of the videos I've been watching of it and um, some of the feedback I've seen from the beta testers yeah, I mean, one, one of the beta testers rides on these things regularly and uh, says it, it feels right. So uh, I take a lot of I, I take a lot of confidence from that. I love how it looks. I'll be honest. I really like the older stuff like this. This is this is a much more interesting train to me than something like the M7 because it's got a much more old feel to it. It's it's got just generally more interesting. And not only that, I mean, it's clearly a pirate train. So on National Pirate Day, you'll be able to drive this, and you'll have a reason for driving it. So, all the benefits. Thanks, Jeff Duman. Bam the buttons. Oh no, 60 limit. Okay, stop messing with the camera, let's focus on what we're doing. How does DTG document routes and trains? They ask for permission. We always ask for permission. Um, and where possible, um, we'll try and get access directly to the train in a depot and out on the main line for doing audio recordings. That's not always possible. Um, otherwise than that, in the case of the M3, it was, um, you know, Lord Jester as a passenger on the railway just took pictures. We just said, can you take pictures of these things for us, like in the cab? Look at the floor, look underneath the chair, look behind the chair, look at all these really crazy, crazy pictures. The kind of thing that makes you look a bit weird when if people see you taking the picture, basically. Um, and build that plus anything we could find on the internet and anything we got from other people we built up a library of pictures um, and then that enables us to create the thing and then the finished thing goes off for approval with the Long Island Railroad and then they say yeah that's a pretty good job excellent and then all good Yeah, none of the team went to the US for this one, um, the pie trade. We used people, we used people. We benefited from people in the US who were, prior to the lockdown, uh, able to go and um, uh, take the pictures and get videos and uh, find out information. So, can you get a picture of what that sign is? You know, um, now what does that say? Um, 
fortunately we got some help from other people we got able to get some really detailed images um, of these from uh, from a couple of engineers as well what happens if the Long Island doesn't approve it then we find out what they don't like then we fix it it's simples Does it ever get disapproved? So no train is ever permanently disapproved. They'll just say, hello, what did I do? I did a thing. Oh, I did a thing. Oh well. Oh no, of course I can't go. I've got to put it in max brake and recharge the brake. M7 in the background there. So we'll quick fly around the outside, shall we? I'll turn off the motion blur and we can have a look safely down here without it looking triggersome. Loads and lots of loads of fine detail. disapproval of trains so it doesn't really happen that way we've got a license with operators which says we can make stuff um, and we will then send what we make and then they tell us what they need to change about it and we'll we make those changes Sometimes it's about the shape, sometimes it's about the livery, sometimes it's about the functionality. Uh, there's no plans to announce about expanding the route. Several of you are asking about expanding the route. Um, there's no um, there's no plans on that at the minute. Fifteen limit coming up for our arrival to Jamaica. Why are M9s called unicorns? Is it because there's not many of them about at the moment? What if a table four is up? <laughs> you can, uh, uh, Volmic, you think you can just block restream bits so you, so you don't see it?
Unicorns, oh, because of the colours. Oh, okay. <clears throat> no plans about the D30 or DM30 at the moment. We'll let you know if that changes. Will you add the Acela eventually? In the fullness of time, lots of things may be added. No plans to announce at the moment, though. Has working from home slowed productivity? Maybe a little bit, but not tremendously. was this. Come out here. And out there. I don't know why there are people standing in the corridors, if I'm honest. I will be ask people tomorrow. Oh, I had a route map. Yay, collectible. Sorry for making this train hit everybody, but there are two red lights missing on the back of the train. Red light hype. There's no one down here. They're all lazy. They don't walk down the back end of the train. Let's leap down here. We have markers. Good to have a new train to drive on the uh, on the Log Island. Has to be said. <clears throat> Who picked the ten car? Eh? Who picked the ten car? <clears throat> And lock the doors. <coughs> Next station is Woodside. Change for the Port Washington branch. Come on, up to 15. Thank you. Can you turn off the passenger lights? Someone can tell me how, I'll have a look. I assume there's a fuse or something. There are many switches. We'll have a look around in the cab when we get to, and when we start the next service. There are many buttons and switches.
How much have I spent my time between the M3 and the M7? Oh, I don't know, Kojo. I don't know. Probably initially, at the moment, be spending more time in the M3 because it's, it's new and not shiny. <laughs> Ultimately, probably about half and half, to be honest, because it's nice to have a change as well, isn't it? What we got down here? Cab light. That's the main lights. The wipers. This is the cab light. That's the battery. What we got up here? Well, master light fuse, marker lights, door zone, unlock, 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 lock, unlock, door override, headlight breakers, this radio, that doesn't do anything, that one no. Born, acknowledge. What have we got up here? There's a battery. I think the battery is probably how you turn the interior lights off, but that might not be quite the effect you're looking for. <coughs> yes, the brake charging works exactly the same, Ronak. So we give it horn through the next station. Everyone's going on about having the horn. I've smacked my head. Ow, that hurt. Seriously hurt when I banged my head on that building. Oh wow. I'm all the way away. In that case we won't do it through the next station. It will take too long. There it was, right here. Banged my head again. Ever it was Heavy Hall a PC exclusive because it was built before the game ran on consoles and now the game runs on consoles um, the way it was built isn't compatible with consoles so it needs to be updated to be able to work on consoles Steady on, Chris. Yeah, it's quite snappy on the brakes. One point nine miles. to Woodside. Should we do a, uh, a nighttime Hempstead to Pen next then? My head are pixelated. Okay. My head normally is pixelated to be fair. Ask anyone that's met me. One mile. Okay, 
down and it's already, we're already running underneath the limit, which is good. down to stop a Port Washington. <whistles> I bought a telephone. <laughs> so who's hyped for the M3 then? What's the first run you're going to do on the M3? Are you going to play a scenario? Or are you going to run a service run? And if so, what's your start and end point? And will you be missing the station like I did? Tutorial? You... You swats, Stephen Jam. <laughs> Just get in and drive it like you stole it. <laughs> Is there a custom journey for the M3? Uh, well, let, remind me actually, after this service we'll check that, I believe there is, but let me show you. The whole point of these um, streams is that if you've got questions I can just show you the answers rather than you taking my word for it. New York Penn to Hempstead. See the, the Penn Hempstead line is probably my favourite of the journeys that are possible on it. I like Atlantic Terminal except for 5 miles per hour. Far from the pen now. Boy, Mars Pro's breakneck speed, yeah, really. Oh, M7 over there. And just to be clear, another time we run it, that might be an M3. I can't remember when we started the M3. I mean, we've been collecting reference on it for about a year now.
<sighs> but yes, after an awful lot of work, it's coming out tomorrow. Really pleased to see this one out. Uh, journey mode, none of you here tonight. Yep, journey mode is uh, we're going to look at next, and then we're going to have a look at a nighttime service. What did I say? Hempstead to Penn or Penn to Hempstead? I can't remember. Be the M3 Schnauzer of Pals. Totally. <clears throat> Fifteen coming up at the end of the tunnel. Going back uphill now, up the other side. I'm not looking at any New York subway at the moment, uh, Seven Diamond. Got stuff that you want to see though, post it into our um, uh, suggestions forums. That's the drop down to 40. We'll drop down to 15 shortly. How long does it take to create a route? So, a team of probably 10 or 15 people um, create a route and it takes about three months so multiply that out for the number of years slight over speeding no one saw me it didn't count what software do you use so the team use 3d studio max for the 3d models they use a thing called substance for tech uh, materials they use um, obviously unreal editor for doing um, placements there's probably a bunch of other tools, but I guess that's probably the um, oh, Photoshop for texturing. Yeah, well, they've got pretty fast at making it, but it's quite a lot of people as well, and they're really good at working together. Oh, place the, so the assets are placed using Unreal Engine. Unreal essentially is the 3D world creation tool. Does the M3 gap similar to the M7? It does, and in fact, all the lights cut out when it gaps as well. More people can have an improvement on route making or not. It depends on the route, to be honest. Otherwise, they tend to all um, end up in each other's pockets. They're all dedicated to the jobs. They're all extremely good at their jobs. Let's put it that way, Dan and Beast. They are definitely extremely good at their jobs. Look. 
lift. Did we gold it? We did. Right, so let's do something at night. Oh, journey mode, sorry, journey mode. Uh, journeys M3. So there's your journey. So the scenarios, the introduction, and a selection of services. Right, timetable, M3. Let's go to an eight car, just to make the difference. Uh, we'll go for, actually we'll stay spring, but we'll put a bit of cloud on, put a bit of wind on as usual. And we'll go for something early morning. Hempstead Pen we're looking for. Let's just type Hempstead. Right. Oh, okay, so the eight cars are Atlantic Terminal Hempstead Services. All right, fine. Oh, I think six cars generally do the Hempstead run, don't they? No, six. Hempstead. Hempstead Atlantic Terminal. What am I missing here? Did I select the wrong one before? Yeah, I did. I selected the wrong one before, then reselected the wrong one again. There we go. Hampstead to New York Pen. Hey. Right. Let's go for, I don't know, 4 a.m. How's that look? Yeah, I know. I realised that. Uh, Taylor kind. <laughs> Favourite Lear line? Um, it's this one, to be honest. It's the line between Hempstead and Penn. This one. It's interesting. It's different. Um, it changes speeds and stops and all sorts of things. Uh, let's get the, uh, that in. That in. Charge the brakes. And unlock the doors. Should probably put some headlights on then, really. Well, that reminds me. Let's take a run, everyone. See you later, modern easy mail. We've got until 0120. Mm -hmm. Marker lights on, which are those ones. Does it snow in TSW? If you turn snow on, you will get snow. Yes. Some lights on. Sorry, I only just saw your message there, Brinkles. I've got a signal out. Cap light on.
have been given a better speed. I wonder why I couldn't hear anything, uh, train boy. I'm driving in cheat mode. So the 15 limit is a little way down this platform. We're not stopping at Country Free uh, Country Press though. Hello, Simeon. This is Long Island Line, and we are currently down on the Hempstead Branch, working our way to go back up to New York Penn. There's cab light. Uh, I don't know about desk light. What am I slowing down for? We're already at 15. if I was in the right place or not but oh well Garden City is our next stop what we're coming or pulling into there actually at the minute let's head over to Garden City shall we drive blind and see if we can stop by only doing 15 miles an hour I'm sure it'll be, be achievable even for me Yeah, I'll do the door opening and closing uh, on the station, Brinkles. Long Island route does not have freight, no, Chris. At least not in our implementation. In reality, there's some freight runs on it via the new operator, different operator called New York and Atlantic, NY and A. I don't know what door rider I did actually, Backlund. Can't be honest there. Uh, there's no news to announce about an MP15AC at Real McKinley. It's not quite the same as an MP15DC. There's all sorts of changes. These things are really quite quiet, to be honest, um, Seba.
curses to that 15 minute. get speed up soon. 200 yards. Train boy. No. Is it possible we can see MYNA on this route in the future? Who knows what the future holds? There's no plans to announce that at that moment, Monda. Right, now we can speed up. Next station, Nassau Boulevard. Ooh, are we doing all stops? Nassau, Stewart, Floral, Belrose, Queens, Hollis, Jamaica and New York Penn. Man, we're going to have to work for my dinner tonight. I don't support football, I don't really do anything with football, eh, Crosby? Not interested at all. Closest I get to football is when England have a World Cup or something. Right, coming into Nassau Boulevard. Oh, M7. Clear and air conditions, Nassau Boulevard is your home station. Nice. Do I like cricket? I don't really follow much sports, to be honest. My wife and daughter follow tennis. My wife and son follow Formula One. I basically sit in here all day. <laughs> It's all about the trains, absolutely. get all excitable and forget to stop at the next station. So we were actually able to get Jake Rotham, it's interesting you, you say you love how acceleration is so realistic, slow starting departure. So we were able to get hold of the um, acceleration profiles as the electric motors are given power at different points. And it's kind of, it goes up, it goes up very slowly and then you get this big jump and then it sort of keeps going up like that and 
we've captured all of that. It's one of the really nice things for Simigraph is the, I think it's a camshaft control on this thing, um, and um, that's all been the the engineer who did that managed to sort of capture. So when you actually graph the output of this train, it almost perfectly matches the graph that we um, we got for this train in the documentation. Thank you, Alex. Glad you're enjoying. <clears throat> Look, doors. So if you watch the, you can feel the motors. If you watch the um, the head sway, you can feel it as it take as it grabs. You'll feel it pull forward. Um, there you go. You can see it in the accelerometer as well. The sort of the uneven acceleration you get through the thing. Right, Floral Park, which puts us up on the main line. It was really nice to have the real voices for PA systems, Joe. Can't always get them. Um, in fact, can rarely get them. But just to be clear, this train doesn't have PA system, folks. Speed to forty five. Then this is us coming into Floral Park. It's something like that, train boy. It's not quite that, but it's something like that. Unknown Slayer is the same timetable that was on the route before, just modified to uh, allow the M3 to do the same services. Yeah, I jump whenever there's announcements. What was that other Ultron we were doing the other day? I tell you what, Friday night on Freddy's train. That's what that felt like. Hey, Dimitri, how's it going? Uh, Jay, this will be the last one tonight. Yeah. So, if there's anything else you want me to show you on the M3, now it's time to ask. Bellrose. I quite like they've managed to get this little bit of little areas on there that are reflective on the top that are shined because have been leaned on. There's not really a good place to do a freight service on this route as it stands, MTA Enthusiast. It hasn't got the freight facilities. Yes, you have to have brakes on for the doors face.
I'll do the doors of the, the control panel of the next one. I don't think the buzzer's there. That's is that this one? That's not working. Don't know where the buzzer is. You can't just record the announcements off the trains because there's copyright with that, Joe. It has to come from the original um, source of where it was recorded along with uh, licensing and copyright permission. You can't just record stuff and use it in the game. Queen's Village. of a mile. Forty limits. Queen's Yard Village coming up in 600. Me speeding? No, don't be silly. I refute those allegations wholeheartedly. Right, key in, turn it on, unlock rearward. Someone was asking about doors in um, other units as well. No, I think it's same as the M7. You have to go into... So you're either in one cab or the other cab, essentially. So um, if you wanted to close these doors, you could just use those controls. But meanwhile... Let me take Ghost Train here. Uh, lock rearward doors. And take it out and then take it out. Right. Close the door. Off we go to Hollis. Not just pink earphones, Taylor, but pink earphones with ears. If you're going to do it, it's got to be done properly. There's a couple of trains in West Side Yard. Right, 1.3 for Hollis. Uh, there's no plans at the moment for the other trains on the Long Island at the moment. Well aware of them. Uh, 
Uh, there's no plans at the moment on destination boards, Jonathan Diaz. These things don't even have destination boards. Right, this is Hollis. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like I planned it. Let's just say I planned it, yeah? Jamaica's next. We're going to New York Penn, and that'll be the end of this um, stream, Asala. It's not especially loud, Nils. I noticed that in YouTube videos. It's more rattly noises and train and, and rail noises than anything else. It's like these things are giant echo chambers. It's like every station's in the middle of Well, I was asked to show it in the night, so I'm showing it in the night. Right, we're approaching the 35, which brings us into um, Jamaica. He says, trying desperately to stir his brain into life. Don't abandon me now. I'm getting 47, 48 FPS. Is the answer to your question, Troy? There were release notes put out, I think, um, Harry Oda Slayer. I can't remember exactly what's in the patch. I don't think it was much. I think it's mostly to support the M3. How am I operating the, ca uh, the train using the keyboard? We were never in a tunnel. Um, <laughs> it's night time. <laughs> It's the other type of tunnel. The outside tunnel. So, like, you've been avoiding the Long Island for a couple of weeks now. No, it's... Oh, well, you're going to have a, lo a lot of fun getting back to it then. Yeah, it's an outside tunnel. Otherwise known as the night time. Ooh, look at Jamaica in the distance there. Isn't that lovely? Only Cobra, I believe it'll be the same price as you normally pay for a locomotive DLC pack.
Boom, boom, JP. I guess someone's got to. don't think this service is to Hunter's Point, JH, no. It's the same service timetable that you had. That hasn't been changed. All that's been changed is the service timetable now lets you run the M3 at the same time. Me running late, Leo Ralph Fanning? I can't possibly believe that. That's never happened before in my life. Oh, hello, what we got coming up there? Looks like an M7, isn't it? Yeah, that's an M7. Boo, modern trains. You don't live far from Forest Hills Station. Did a great job with that neighbourhood. Thank you very much, Sadie. Forest Hills um, is... Is that the one just up the line here? With the red roofs? I really like that station, if that's the one. I've got a crossover up here to get onto the correct learning line. So obviously we need to slow down. Any plans on adding Metro North to Trinity World? Nothing that's been announced, no JMO. If you're in the area you need to go and ride the M3s for real because they won't be here around for that much longer, I don't think. Don't put off until tomorrow. Experience greatness right now. And then come home and drive it on your train simulator. Am I familiar with Belgian train stations? Not especially, no. Uh, I don't have the details, phase those are, but normally they'll be on the Dovetail forums. <coughs> Alright, let's speed up. Another M7.
Oh, shush, Alerta. I want me some 80 mile an hour, goodness. Pacers. See, now they are, they are trains. Pacers are trains. This is our first station. Why are Pacers called Pacers? I actually don't know, Wonder. You'll probably find Wikipedia will tell you the answer to that. Will there be any commuter subway routes in the future? What kind of commuter subway routes are you interested in, uh, Unfair Manatee? Woodside for the Port Washington branch, which we will be speeding through. Yeah, normally the express ones would be in the middle. Twenty twenty four is apparently the last days of the M three, so you have time, folks. Oh dear. That's us under sixty. Is there any subway line you don't want? No. You know me. All trains are good trains. I don't want subway lines that don't have trains. Because why would you? Trams. Oh, I love the idea of trams, Troya. Forty-five as we depart, as we come through uh, Woodside. <whistles> Train.
Tram routes in TS, the uh, Frankfurt um, U Bahn. It's excellent. Kashawn Rose, uh, what was your question? Sorry. I probably missed lots of questions, to be fair. I'm not missing anything intentionally. in What additional updates come along with it? The release notes are on the forum. I can't remember what their own thing is. I think there was just a fix for a thing on Peninsula Corridor, uh, Kishon Rose. I don't think the issue with the Penn Station Tunnel has been fixed yet. It's, that's a slightly more complicated issue. The team are aware of it and they've got an understanding of what's wrong with it. I'm trying to work out the best way of fixing it now. Do I ride the train to the office? They don't do a train that goes from here to the office. It's only about a five, ten minute car ride. <laughs> or a 45 minute walk when I'm feeling not quite so lazy. Sliding platforms on pen, I'm not even aware of that one, Monda. Has that one been raised on the beta forum? And via a support ticket. Oh, is it platform clipping? Sorry, colliding means something different to me. Colliding tells me that there's um, trains being pushed off the track. Clipping is different. Yes, more of clipping. Right, and now we go underground. At this point, the journey's no different, whether it's daytime or not. Are you asking if there'll be an NY Subway RA one for two RA fan? In which case the answer is the usual. There's nothing to announce on it. I'd be a big fan of NJ Transit for TSW Kai. Enjoy their stuff in TS1. We have some tasks to see what we can do with it. It's like I said, the problem with the passengers is one of partly of performance, but also partly of making them not just bump randomly into each other and just look silly. It doesn't look bad when there's few passengers, but when you've got crowds of them, it does look a bit silly. Will there be a light at the end of the tunnel? There will be. It will be a yellow light and a red light. Hey Michael Foy, how's it going? Is 
Is New Jersey Transit for PS4? There is no New Jersey, New Jersey Transit, Michael Mardani. This is Long Island. Yellow, red. And then coming up to the 15 at the end of the tunnel. Not too bad trying to stay insane and so trying to stay sane in an insane world. Yeah, get okay, I hear you. Zoomer 800s. <laughs> in here. Pull this in. We'll just fly over to West Side Yard and just see what there is over in West Side Yard. Before we open the doors, how do I get to a side yard? Not that way. Just an M7 up here now by the looks of it. Oh no, two M7s. Look. Where's my train? <clears throat> so that's the M3, folks. Uh, comes out tomorrow. It's Thursday tomorrow, isn't it? Um, a usual loco DLC price for the Long Island Railroad, of course. Uh, three scenarios, one tutorial. Services, uh, I'll just re-show you the service mode thing, because for those of you that didn't see it in the beginning of the stream, it might be confusing for you when you see it. Let's just wait for this to finish. Boom. Get my, my gold medal. Silver medal? I was robbed. I was robbed. Um... I'll just show you the scenario, the service mode again. If you go into timetable, under here now you'll see them there. Even if you pick this one, you'll need, what you'll find is that if you uh, go here, you'll see there's um, 28 services. If I pick that, there are 65. Um, that's just clearly wrong. But it's been split out now into the number of cars. So eight car units have 65, six of 88. 10 of 28 so you can switch those down it's just using the livery select which is more a formation select really rather than the livery uh, and the same is true on this one as well so it's the same services it's just been spread out a little bit um, so that you can pick based on the number of cars in the train as well all right folks <clears throat> that's uh, that's all there is for this evening i hope you enjoyed this little look at the m3 uh, and i look forward to um, hearing how you all get on with it all right folks take care i'll see you later Bye-bye.